close-up is brought to you by the Kia Sorento R. Redefining the power of Kia. Do you refuse to ride a bike because you hate wearing a helmet? There are claims that more people die from lack of exercise attributed to the helmet embarrassment factor than lives are saved by the use of the helmet. And, of course, there's the usual nanny state can't tell me what to do arguments. We'll talk shortly to the Christchurch councillor who wants at least a review of the helmet law and to the woman who fought to introduce it. But first, here's Jill Higgins. A 19% reduction in head injury. Why wouldn't you wear a bike helmet? Surely the law makes sense. It's great. My dad cycles to work from Browns Bay to Pamua, so he wears his helmet every day. It's good. That's yep, great. keeps him safe. <laughs> a few years ago I actually had a crash, and like if I wasn't wearing my helmet, then they sort of could have like happened to my head, so yeah. <laughs> Fully for it. Yet debates are raging everywhere. In Canada, there's concern about becoming a nanny state. Perhaps this country's a little bit over too uh, regulated. In London, with Tour de France winner Bradley Wiggins saying the UK should be... It's making them the law to wear, because ultimately if you get knocked off and you ain't got a helmet on, then how can you kind of argue? And in the US, where the mayor of New York is against mandatory helmet use. He may be worried about how much soda you drink, but don't expect Mayor Bloomberg to be too concerned with you cracking your skull if you use the city's new bike share program. Like New York, London has a bike share scheme. And like New York's mayor, London's mayor wants it helmet free. The research is pretty clear in the UK, America and across Europe. Having to wear a helmet puts a lot of people off. So what about here? One of the few countries where the law states helmets must be worn. Does that affect you at all? Um, kind of. In what way? Because it looks stupid. Because it's an image thing, really. Yeah, because I think a lot of people cycle as a fashion statement. Like when you have your little hipster bike. There's this nice image of the, the person cycling along and their hair is billowing in the wind and it, it just puts a damper on that. Cycling provides such huge win-wins for the nation, for individual regions, for individual families, that it's good to reduce the barriers. and. As you look at people, and particularly women at the moment, having to wear a helmet is one of the barriers. The number of cyclists has dropped. A UK study says fewer cyclists means less exercise, which is bad for the community's health. In fact, getting people back on bikes will save more life years than the number that would be lost in accidents. Those who want to see the helmet law changed want attention to shift to making roads safer. A few years in the future, hopefully not too many, we would look forward to a New Zealand where it's safe enough to cycle on the roads that you might not have to wear a helmet. Or should we get over the image thing? This Swedish invention could help. It looks like a scarf, acts like an airbag. OK, I'm joined now by Rebecca Oten. She's in Palmerston North now. It was her hard work after her son was seriously injured in a bike accident that got the bike helmet law introduced. And from Christchurch, councillor Aaron Kewen, who believes there needs to at least be a rethink. Rebecca, look, 1994, nearly 20 years ago, the law came in. Does it need reviewing? I don't think so, Mark. Not at all. No. Do you think this argument that cyclists aren't complying with it, do you, do you, do you accept that? In some areas, I, I do agree that cyclists are not. But, I, I mean, I, I just... I don't see that we don't need a, a helmet law. We do. I, I just firmly believe that we do. Education is needed, more education, as to why cyclists have to wear helmets. Aaron Q, and that, of course, begs the question, why do you think we do need a review? Uh, just to get to the bottom of a lot of the facts surrounding the myths, Mark, um, it would be great to know uh, the exact number of people that are and aren't cycling, and especially those that aren't, why they're not cycling, and let's just find out, lay the facts on the table and then take it from there. Certainly since the helmet law come in, New Zealand has less than half the number of people cycling. Do you, Aaron, do you agree that helmets save lives? Oh, definitely. Uh, helmets are a great thing, and certainly uh, during cycle races and so on and so forth, people uh, wear them. Uh, but if you're going to meander down to the local park with your kids or to the local dairy to pick up a paper, uh, do you need a cycle helmet on? And that would be part of what a review would do. Rebecca, is that, I mean, is education the answer? Should it be convincing people to do it because it's good for them as opposed to because there's a law that says they have to? In my opinion, Mark, yes. 
And just to pick up on what Erin just said, yes, you do need to wear a helmet if you're just meandering down to the dairy. A person can sustain head injury simply by falling off a bike and banging their head on the grass. You don't have to be on the road. You don't have to be going at a great speed. Your head needs protecting. Your brain needs protecting at all times. Look, uh, look we understand that. And, of course, you, you learnt that tragically firsthand because of what happened to your son. But if, if someone's on a skateboard or if they're on roller skates, they don't have to have that protection. No, and I think they should. Absolutely they should. Is it simply, Aaron, a, a numbers game? If, you, if, we, if, we, if we look at the myths then and they say, OK, as some, as some researchers suggested, if so many people aren't cycling because of the helmet rule and they're putting on weight and there's a, a, there's a, a toll from that, is that enough to make us rethink what we have well, now? It, well, it certainly should be, Mark. We should always, you should never just pass a law and then assume that it's working well. Uh, some of the other aspects, I've had a lot of, especially Dutch people, European people, uh, write to me during this whole debate, and it's great that the debate's out there, saying that, look, hey, w if I wear a helmet, that kind of infringes on what I can see and hear when I'm on the road, so I think, oh, maybe that's, that's a reasonable uh, assumption. But some people act more dangerously because they've got a helmet on. Not only might Mark have the numbers of people cycling halved, but the accident rate's gone up at the same time. So something's not working and we need to know the facts. Aaron, I've got to ask you why you stuck your neck out on this, because I know that it's caused a, a, a huge furore here in Christchurch. Even the, the, the top sort of road policing cop has said, stick to your day job, Aaron. Yeah, oh, I'm an idiot. The, uh political fodder. What happened is I got approached by some cycling advocates that said, hey, if you really want to create the Amsterdam of the South Pacific and get people on bikes, review the helmet law. And I thought, and they probably came to me because I was probably the only one that was willing to put my head up out the sand and have people take pot shots at me. But if that, I don't mind people taking pot shots at me and getting a bit of hate mail because I've had a lot of support on this one, especially if it's going to get more people on bikes and biking safer. Mark, okay. We're not saying get rid of the helmet law. We're saying the thing's got to be safer, and at the moment it's not, and why is that? Rebecca, if there is a move to review it, if there's any move to change this law that you fought for back in 1994, are you willing to get into the fight again? Yes, absolutely I am. I still believe that education is the answer, and after seeing what happened to my son, living it for 24 years, I understand the need for a safety helmet. I don't think it should be a personal choice. Rebe People shouldn't be allowed to say, I don't want to wear a helmet. It, it's necessary to wear a safety helmet. You have to protect your brain. Rebecca Oten and Aaron Akewen there in Christchurch, we appreciate your input from both of you tonight.